Do you dream of buying and restoring a used boat? I had the same dream and here is what it looks like in reality. Alright, it's not that bad. But one thing I learned for sure, restoring a used boat is extremely demanding and you're going to need a good plan. When we first bought our 1978 steel boat, the condition looked not too bad. A little woodwork here, a little bit of paint there and that's it. Well, a boat has layers upon layers. Once you start stripping the top layers, you usually find stuff underneath that you weren't prepared for and it's gonna need your attention. On the boat, you need to follow certain principles, which, if not, could lead to disaster. So here's our restoration plan. First, we need to create a good base for building on top. So we have to start with the bilge, the hull and the engine room. Next, we'll start with redoing and upgrading the electronics, mainly so that we can use our heater for the upcoming winter. Next, we'll fix the leaking windows so that the bilge and hull remain dry going forward. Once all of that is done, we'll tackle the water system so that we can hide away the plumbing with the woodwork that comes on top. Then we can finally start with the interior refitting, putting in wall and ceiling panels and furniture etc. Once the interior is done, it will probably be early spring so that we can tackle the exterior metal and paintworks. With this plan in mind, the top priority is to clear out everything we don't need and clear out the access to the bilge or the hull. I ended up removing all of the glass wool because we'll replace it with something a little less hazardous for your health. So I found a corner here at the very front of the rear cabin and there's like big chunks of metal totally rusted rotten chips of metal coming out of there so somewhere somewhere behind these panels there must be a leak and unfortunately I'm gonna have to check it out as soon as possible. This is the exhaust pipe and it's actually a wet exhaust and upon inspection and it's actually quite rotten so we're gonna have to replace that as well but for now I'm not gonna touch it too much I'm gonna leave it because I still want to try the motor and just for for testing I'm sure it's it's fine all right and what do we have here <laughs> Hi. how's it going <laughs> still doing a sad thing <laughs> how's your relationship with the goo by now Oh, you know, it's complicated. We're in a very complicated relationship. Although you guys seem to get along, you certainly spend a lot of time together. <laughs> How about you join us? <laughs> <laughs> Another project waiting for me is to clear out the metal ligates that were placed in the rear of the hull as ballast. Because of the leaks in the ceiling and windows, they're completely rusted together into a single piece. So I need to remove them clean and paint the hull underneath and then put them back in. So just when you think you have dug up all the water that's in the boat, you find another one of these. You can see here the water is actually standing here and I just I just felt in there that the water is actually standing all the way up to here. Luckily it seems to be an isolated compartment so it doesn't spill all over but yeah in the end we're gonna have to remove all the boards after all so that's gonna be a project for next weekend then and that's the end of the third week of this restoration project once again we learned a lot we worked a lot and we suffered a lot and we are already looking forward to the next week and we hope to see you there as well <laughs>